through my research, I've been able to find out some very interesting things you can do with indie games, including Stardew Valley, so that's what I'll be talking about today. And specifically, I'll be talking about the CJB Cheats menu. I'm showing you a little preview of it right now after I have it installed. Um, but I'll be talking about mods using Nexus Mods in general, and how to use the Vortex Client. And basically, I'll be giving you an easy way to get into the hobby of mods and video games. So, here we go. Um, if you're new to modding games, Nexus Mods is a great place to start. And you can even use their Vortex client to automatically install the mods for you. Um, using this mod, you can install things like custom content and what I'll be showing, which is this cheat code client. Something strangely absent from a lot of games these days, but that's okay. Anyway, you'll first want to go to nexusmods.com, register for an account, and download the client. It's very easy. I'll have all the links in the description. And after you have installed the client, uh, which may need you to update your .NET Microsoft software, um, you'll be able to install directly through the client, the mod manager, um, just using the website. So that'll be pretty useful for you. And uh, like I said, I'll have all the links in the description for everything. Um, after you install the client, uh, go back to the nexusmods.com homepage and search for Stardew Valley. And then uh, after you search for Stardew Valley on the Nexus Mods page, um, you'll need to download the Smappy mod first. I'm not sure how to say the Smappy or SMAPI. Either way, we'll say Smappy. And it's a mod that basically enables Stardew Valley to use other mods. And since you have the Vortex client installed, you can download using the mod manager uh, download links on the pages included in this tutorial and that will just install it directly through the client. You may need to authorize the client or authorize the website to use the Vortex client but that's very easy and once you have the first mod installed you want to repeat the process and test it with the CJB Cheats mod. Again use the mod manager download link, open the Vortex client, click on mods and after this it's that simple. You will see the mods that have been installed. Uh, final note, the Smappy Mods uses a separate executable than the standard Steam installation here. Um, you can either open the modded version of Stardew Valley with the new executable in File Explorer, or you can edit the launch options in your Steam library using the file location, for which I'll also have a link in the description, or a quote. And that's pretty much it. Uh, you can open the modded Stardew Valley game, start up a character, and by pressing P, you have the P key. You have access to a plethora of cheats for money, characters, buildings, whatever you want for the most part. And additionally, since you are now familiar with Nexus, you can install mods for any other games on the site using the software. Um, I hope you like this explanation of it. Try to keep it as simple as possible, um, but there are a few steps. But um, I also have a written tutorial on my website linked in the description. That might help you if you um, prefer to learn that way. And otherwise, if you like this video, please like and subscribe today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.